What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're painting Hawk Helium Climbing Sticks. Now a couple years ago I did a video with my daughter Abigail where we painted up some muddy climbing sticks. It's a really easy project, it probably only takes 15 minutes from start to finish, so I had a blast doing it and I figured I might as well do it again with my new sticks. I'm using these Hawk Helium sticks and they already come in this nice gray color, which is what I like to use as a base for my camouflage pattern anyway. That's great, saves me a step. The only two colors I need to add are dark brown for contrast and then I come back with a light tan to hit highlights. Now in my first video, I used tan with a sponge. That's where it gets the name from, the sponge method. And you just put the tan on the sponge and you dab it around. I didn't have a sponge, so I just used an old wash rag that I had lying around and used that. It worked absolutely great. You can tell it looks perfect. Now I know, there are some negative Nancys out there going, deer can't see color, camouflage is worthless, you don't need to do that, you're wasting time, you're wasting money. Yeah, well, if it gives you more confidence in the woods, I say do it. And having stuff camo, it makes me feel more confident and therefore I'm gonna do it. Plus the whole project takes like 15 minutes and probably costs 10 bucks. The first step is to put a few dark brown stripes across your sticks. I did three to five depending on how it looked. Next, you wanna come back with your tan and hit the highlights. There's no rhyme or reason to this or any formula. Just kinda of do whatever looks right to you. As soon as you feel like you have enough, you're ready to go. Once it dries, you're all set. No need to add a clear coat or anything like that. After time, if some of the paint wears off or gets dinged up, it doesn't matter. It'll just add more camouflage to the look. That's it, it's a super, super simple project and you can tell that it makes a really big difference in the tree. Hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully you learned something new. Thanks for watching and you guys get outdoors.